Good morning, guys. Uh, today I'm probably just going to do one video. And uh, I'm going to answer the question about the possibility of returning to the Philippines. And uh, I'm also going to just kind of uh, randomly share about some uh, other things. So uh, I wanted to start off with just thanking everyone for subscribing to the channel. Uh, this has been a really fun experiment for me because if you look at my YouTube channel, uh, most of the substantial videos, or really all of the substantial videos that I have done, uh, I've done within the past six months. And right now I'm almost at 1,700 subscribers. And so for me, the channel's doing pretty well, especially considering that it's just videos that I'm making here in our kitchen here in Alabama. And uh, I think, you know, I really regret, it, it's been fun, and I really regret that I didn't do a lot more videos back when uh, I was living in the Philippines. Uh, if you look at some of my older stuff, like um, I actually started this channel back in 2008, but uh, like a lot of other things with blogging, like a lot of other things, I had no idea what I was doing. Same goes for blogging. I started blogging, I think, around um, uh, around that time, 2006, 2007, 8, somewhere in there. I'd have to go back and look. And I had absolutely no idea what I was doing. So uh, for me, it's been really cool to uh, just interact with all of you, and it's been fun to just share the information that I've learned about the Philippines. So uh, I'm, I'm really happy with where this channel has gone in the course of just a few months. So uh, thanks everyone for subscribing, for uh, commenting, and uh, you know I'm going to try to keep doing this as consistently as possible. Now uh, one of the questions that, uh, that came uh, a week or two ago was, Am I planning to move back to the Philippines? As you know, coffee is our friend. And uh, the, the answer is, we haven't really made a decision on that. We, when I first moved back here to the United States, what I really thought would happen is I would uh, fairly quickly find a church that I could pastor. And that just has not worked out at all. I won't go into all of the details there, but I will say that most guys my age that are pastoring churches here in the United States have been doing it for a long time. And churches seem to be really reluctant, based on my experience, to hire someone with a missionary background because they're just not really sure exactly what to do with someone like me. So uh, that aspect of our life here in the United States has not turned out really anything like we expected. Uh, now, does that mean that I have given up on life here in the U.S.? Uh, no, not at all. We, uh, you know, we're still looking at different things and trying to figure out what it is that we're going to do here, and see if if there's some. If I can find something that uh, I find meaningful and enjoyable and all that good stuff. But uh, having said that, of course, once my wife gets her citizenship, we're not going to leave right after she gets her citizenship or anything like that. But once my wife obtains her U.S. citizenship, then, then different international options would be available for us uh, down the line and not just the Philippines. We may uh, look at me pastoring an international church somewhere else in Asia or Europe or, or who knows. There's just a, a lot of things out there. But uh, one thing that I would want, uh, you can watch my videos on the cost of living in the Philippines if you want, but if ever we were going to move back to the Philippines, and let's say that's uh, 10 years from now or, or whatever, I would want a few things to happen between now and then, and these are all fairly reasonable goals. Uh, what I would want is to have probably minimum of three 
preferably four or five online income streams. And it may be that within a few years that this YouTube channel becomes one of those. Right now, this YouTube channel is not a significant income stream. I make a little bit off of the AdSense and that kind of thing, but for it to be what I would consider a, uh, a um, significant income stream, it would have to probably go 10 times what it's earning right now. And, and the reason that I would like, uh, back to the income stream thing, what I would like is, uh, I would like to have multiple income streams, let's say three or four, that that combined would put me over what we would need to live in the Philippines. And that way, the one thing that I'm learning about making money online is that the it's good to have more than one source because let's say one of them is up here one month and then it goes down then hopefully this other one will go up or you want to be in a situation where you don't put all your eggs in the one proverbial basket when it comes to making money online and uh, now if you're a huge player let's say in the fitness market let's say you're somebody like uh, Vince Del Monte he's making uh, he's easily making six figures. Well, it's fine that everything he has is in that one fitness niche because he's done quite well with it. Uh, as for me, I would like to have more than one, more than one niche that I'm dealing with, and uh, so that's kind of what I'm working on right now. And this is not necessarily just for uh, uh, an exit plan. Uh, part of the reason is. I'm thinking if I could get uh, if I could get this really going, then as an example, it would eliminate the need for my wife to work outside of the home. As many of you know, a lot of families here in the United States, both parents work, and I'm not saying that's a terrible thing, but it's just something that we would like to avoid uh, if we can. So uh, anyway, those are some of my uh, random rambling thoughts this Saturday morning. Uh, the Philippines is it's a possibility for us, but we're we don't have any concrete plan right now to uh, to leave the United States. Uh, one one thing that I was thinking about this morning too is that my wife and I probably don't realize how much we have adapted to life here in the states because you you move somewhere and you adapt to life there and you don't realize how much it's changed you, then you go somewhere else and it's a big eye-opener for you. So if we were both to go back to the Philippines right now and deal with the traffic and the heat and all that, it may it may be a little bit of a shock for us. Uh, maybe not, but uh, anyway, so that's those are some of my uh, random thoughts about this channel and about uh, the possibility of moving back to the Philippines. Um, one more thing I'll add. I keep rambling. One reason that my wife and I did move here from uh, the Philippines is that uh, I was a missionary, as many of you know, and for most of my time there, I was raising my own support. But the longer that went, the, the less well I was doing financially. If not for the help of my dad, there are some months that we would have uh, just starved over there. And... Um, I, I don't want to raise funds to go back. Okay, back to what I was saying earlier. Uh, if ever we go to the Philippines or anywhere where we leave American soil, I would want the whatever I'm doing, ministry or whatever, to be independently funded by, um, by these online income streams that I've been talking about. So anyway, I'm not sure that this video is... Uh, really been that helpful but hopefully it's been informative and again I just wanted to thank everyone and maybe what I've shared has given you some ideas about uh, living or traveling abroad so uh, anyway until next time